Okay, this is the batch of chopped veggie mashup that I've made this morning for the birdies and the mess all around it because making chop is not, I mean, it's not a clean process, right? It's, <laughs> it takes a lot of pots and pans and knives and it's just a mess. But here it is. This is the beautiful batch of chop that I have made for the birds. We're going to go over um, what I put in it so that you guys if you wish to make this for your pet birds as well, you can. You can um, you can modify this and do whatever you want with this this list of ingredients, okay? Because this is not the full list of ingredients that I usually use. Okay, this this is a modified list because I didn't have enough energy to do the full thing today. Okay, guys, here we go. Um, in this batch, you are seeing oat groats. Uh, whole grain quick oats, shelled hemp hearts, flax seeds, sesame seeds, quinoa, green lentils, unsweetened coconut flakes, vegetable pasta, almonds, and then in the non-dry ingredients, you are seeing uh, two sweet potatoes, kale, turnip greens, broccolinis, carrots, purple cabbage, spinach, turmeric, and ginger. Now let's move to the side over here past some of the cleanup that's starting to take place past the oh yeah the all-important chopper that little thing it's got my name on it because sometimes I go to because I'm crazy and sometimes I go to events where we do like big chop demonstrations and I put my name on my stuff okay over here we have the dishes for the babies yes the birds have got their dishes all lined up and what's happening here is Cricket's dish gets uh, molting and conditioning stuff put in it. Over here, Mouse's dish gets some calcium plus put in it. Winston's dish gets uh, moringa powder. Can you see? I I label this stuff because the big the big bag of moringa is in the freezer because I don't want the stuff going bad, right? So I just put some in a container. Blah blah blah. He also gets thyme in his. You know, the other birds don't need moringa powder in time. The other birds don't have an iron deficiency. Uh, Winston's blood work came back a couple years ago showing he had some iron problems. He wasn't processing it correctly. So I do extra stuff for Mr. Winston. Okay, so here's here's the dishes of good, yummy, chop veggie mashup ready for the birds. And they are kind of squeaking a little bit there in the background because they know it's time for their breakfast. It's, it's a mess, you guys. Look, when you make chopped veggie mashup at home, you get messy, messy, messy. It's, yeah, it's a mess. But you know what? It's good for them. It supplements their pelleted diet very well, especially the eclectus parrots. They need fresh vegetables. They need this stuff. And this batch, I mean, you can see it pretty much fills the sink there. Um, that I will put into freezer bags and little tubs, you know, little freezer that's the word I'm looking for, um, Rubbermaid dishes, right? I will freeze that up and this will last probably two months of breakfasts. This will last for about two months. I know there are folks out there who think, you know, the, the vegetables, they tend to lose some of their power once they're frozen. But ladies and gentlemen, it's still a vegetable. You're still getting some veggie goodness into them. It's still good for them, and it's it's still a good thing. So it's better than no vegetables. Okay, so two months worth of breakfast has just been has just been prepared, and the birds are going to want me to hand this to them pretty quickly. So let's finish this video off. Uh, if there's something special that you would add to this, let us know in the comments below. Um, how would you augment and make this this chopped veggie mashup even better?